Hi guys, it's I Pi, and I'm finally back on my channel after the longest time. I decided to actually sell off a bunch of my dress. <laughs> a lot of them has been just sitting in my closet for a very long time, so I decided why not just get rid of them. And worst of all, COVID nineteen doesn't seem to be going anywhere, so where else can I wear them out? So it's time to just sell them off. So I'll just be starting off with this first one, which is. A bodyline dress, it still has its tag on because I just didn't really want to wear it even though I was hunting down this dress for the longest time. I bought it from Osaka's bodyline and this is literally the first time I'm putting it on and I just found out that I can't even zip up the side. I mean, it could still be loosened in the back a bit more but I just kind of decided since I'm going to sell it, why not just, and just get rid of it. So yeah, here's the bodyline one. Here's what it looks like in the back. Yeah. So it also comes with a pin-on ribbon as well as the waist ties. I did not put on the waist ties because I didn't want to ruin them right now. Um, the shoulder straps are also attachable. It comes with sharing in the back as well as corset lacing. And um, I found out it's a size M and it's in the colorway of dark blue. Yeah. Also, just to let everyone know, I seem to have misplaced the moon pin, but I think I never even received the moon pin. So, yeah, this dress would be missing a part. So here's the next dress, it's also from Bodyline and as you can see again, it still has its tag on, I have not used this dress. I actually bought this dress in two different colorways, one of which was the pink one which I have worn before and I'll insert a picture here and um, this is the blue colorway but they're the same cut, I just, after I wore the pink one I really had a good time in it but then I realized that A-line isn't really for me. So as you can see this dress is A-line. It's super cute. This one actually fits me. It's um it has sharing as it has sharing and corset lacing in the back. So this one also comes with a pin on bow as well as its matching waist tie. So here's the next dress. It is from Angelique Pretty. It's um, it's unicorn something. I totally forgot the name right now, but I will insert it down below. Um, yeah, so I actually bought this dress because I really love the print, but I actually wanted the OP cut and not the JSK. But now that I've put it on, I think it's actually quite cute. The JSK is actually pretty nice. It fits me very well. I normally do like a low waist and I don't really like the empire cut or very high waist kind of dresses. This does sit quite high but I still think it looks quite flattering, quite cute. Um, so I may just not sell this. I'll think about it and then I'll, if I upload it, it'll be on lace market. Otherwise, I will just hold on to it for a while. So this is what it looks like. So this dress doesn't come with any waist ties. It does have corset lacing and sharing at the back. Um, it does not have adjustable uh, straps at all. So for our next set, it's this um, egg art set from Metamorphose. Um, I actually got this as a gift. I did choose the midi length so you can see that it's quite long. I think it's quite cute but 
like I said, I got it as a gift and this print isn't really my cup of tea. So I decided why not just let it go. This is brand new. Um, it comes together with a few other items which I'll show later. But here's what the dress looks like. It does not have any corset lacing, but it does have sharing on the back. So sorry about this. Um, yeah, the straps, the shoulder straps are also adjustable, but as you can see, I haven't tucked them in properly. The ribbon here is detachable, so you could just take it off, unpin it if you want to. So the set comes with a matching headband. Um, it also comes with the detachable waist ties, which I have taken off for storage. And lastly, it comes with a pair of over-the-knee socks. As you can see, they're brand new, unused, and all good. So here are some details on the dress. Also yes, uh, so this white blouse is off-brand. It's from Taobao, I think. I'm not sure what brand because there's no labels on it. I'm wearing a size large. If I do find it, I'll link it down below. For only for all the dresses, I've been wearing a hood petticoat except for the first dress which I actually wore a normal bell-shaped petticoat. Um, for the second dress, the bodyline uh, A-line dress, I actually also wore this hood petticoat but I do actually have an A-line pannier that I did not wear. Yes, it is the only dress that I decided to wear a bonnet with because both of these items are Castle Mirage from Angelic Bree. So yeah, this bonnet is dark blue and this is the Sex uh, JSK. So when I first bought it, I loved it. I thought it was so pretty. And now I realise it reminds me of Cinderella too much and I'm not really a very big fan of Cinderella. So I decided, okay, it's time for me to let this dress go, even though I've not even worn it out once. I really like the cut of this dress actually, but I know that it's not very special to this dress, and this cut actually exists in a lot of Angelic Pretty's uh, prints. So, yeah. yeah. So this dress actually comes with partial sharing at the back. It also has waist ties as well as um, adjustable uh, shoulder straps. It also does actually have a built-in petticoat. I'm actually wearing it with the hood petticoat again. Actually, if you notice, this bonnet is actually brand new with tag. <laughs> so yes, yeah, the tag is still on it. I didn't actually remove the tag. I actually bought this second hand from um, Closet Child, but it's still in brand new tag condition. So the next dress that I'm selling is this Angelic Pretty's um, Chest Chocolate in the Bustier JSK card. So yes, it is a strapless dress. It comes with no boning, it has lacing in the front but I'll recommend do not use the lacing in the front because the lace may tear and it would look very uneven if you do the lacing in the front instead use the lacing at the back and tie it up as tightly as you can There's also um, waist ties that are detachable Yep. Um, another advice I have for this dress is um, the inside of the dress here comes with the hooks for actually um, adding on bra straps. So if you have the clear straps or um, if you're like me, I actually used a safety pin. I actually put in a safety pin here and then just pin it to my dress. So it will not actually fall down. Yeah, so one of the problems with this dress is it tends to get floppy if you have like, your hair in here in front. You may just push it down like this, yeah. So just take note and... Yeah. So I actually do find this dress a little bit on the short side. Uh, I don't think you can tell. But I did actually wore this out before. I will insert a picture over here.
I did actually love Chef's Chocolate. Like, chocolate prints are one of my favourite, but... I actually wanted either the OP or the Gillette JSK instead, and not in pink. Pink was not my first choice, I prefer ivory or mint. So yeah, I'm definitely letting this go to hopefully find something that's more in my colourway. Um, also, if you buy this dress, I would be throwing in this um, pin in. Um, it's actually from Taobao. It's a handmade item. It actually has safety pins, so it's meant to be a pin. But uh, I think if you add on like some clips, you could definitely like turn it into a hair clip instead. So I actually changed out of my blouse uh, from uh, the white blouse because it was sheer, and I changed to this darker long sleeved one. This is from Bodyline. So here's the next dress. This is uh, Antique Clock, I believe, from Innocent World. It is a underbust JSK and um, it's in a size large. I actually bought it from Closet Child, so it's uh, second hand. It comes with corset lacing and shearing. I also think it's quite long, so it's actually tall Lolita friendly. To be honest, uh, when I first bought this, I was really in love with it. I was really like obsessed with the underbust type of cuts. After um, trying out a few, I actually found it looked a bit made like to me. But this one's not so bad. This one I feel like it makes me look more like a student, which is super cute. So now that I'm wearing it, I'm also having a little bit of second doubts whether do I really want to sell this, but. I'll see how. Yeah. Here's the next dress. This is um, from Alice and the Pirate. I think it's called Holiday of the Ho Lum Ho Lim. Uh, it's a JSK. So this JSK comes with uh, drag curing as well as corset lacing. It also has um, detachable waist ties. And this uh, chain in the front is also detachable. Okay, so this is the last dress. Technically, it is not a Lolita dress. It was marketed as a Lolita Gyaru dress. It was from a Thailand brand which was started by two sisters, two Japanese sisters. And the brand was called Chu Chu. I believe the brand no longer exists. And I did actually buy it directly from Chu Chu quite a couple of years back when I saw them in Thailand. They were selling at this booth at this cosplay event and I decided to buy two dresses so I'm keeping one but this other dress I decided to sell it because it leans more towards the gyaru side and I'm not really into gyaru though I do find this dress really really pretty especially with this off shoulder detailing so yeah it is definitely very short as you can I think you can kind of see So yes, that is all for this video. I actually have two more dresses. Um, they're also for sale, but they're at my parents' house, so I don't actually have them to try on for you. But I'll insert some pictures here. So the first dress is a Baby the Stars Shine Bright dress. Um, I've worn it out once. I did actually intend to wear it out a second time, but 
like I said, COVID hit and I just didn't have the time to wear it. So I just said, why not just clear it out for my wardrobe and sell it. The other dress is a metamorphosis dress, also here, here's a picture. Uh, yes, I also wore it out once. It comes with, I would say, major damage, especially in the areas where they are pinned on ribbons. So there's a lot of pools at that area. So it is selling for a very big discount. Do check it out and I hope you would help me get rid of some clothes for my wardrobe. Thank you guys! See you guys next time! Bye!